First time I've, uh, I've been in Brazil and it's beautiful. I have a couple of friends who played here, like uh, Lee Douglas and a couple other friends of mine from New York City who told me really good things and um, it, it, it lived up to and and was, was better than what they told me. <laughs> I play at like uh, Studio B, um, APT, Santos Party House. We do some kind of weird, crazy underground loft parties on the Bowery, all over the place. I just got done with, I did a tour of like the West Coast that was really good, like um, LA, San Francisco, Portland. So, you know, I get around. <laughs> Probably as soon as I turned like 18 or 19, I started playing records. You know, I just, um, I grew up loving music. And uh, when I was in college, around 18, 19 years old, I just sort of decided I would try to DJ and, you know, learned on the job. And uh, it's been really great. I've, I've been a DJ for pretty much my entire adult life. And it's, you know, I'm very lucky. <laughs> I've had, I've had a really great time and uh, been able to, you know, just play some really amazing music all over the world, which is pretty cool. In America, the best dance music all comes out of Chicago, Detroit, and New York City. And um, if you have like an understanding of each of those cities, you can, you, I think you can do pretty well, you know. Um, I was really lucky to grow up with like disco and people giving me Ron Hardy, Hot Mix 5 and like Frankie Knuckles mixtapes when, when I was younger as a young DJ. And then, you know, as I got, as I moved to New York City, um, I started to learn about the New York City tradition of like David Mancuso and The Loft and um, the Paradise Garage, Larry LeVan, Body and Soul, with like Francois K and uh, Joe Carcel, and um, everyone in New York, and, and now we have a lot of really good people like Rub and Tug, and um, you know, DFA, some people doing really good music in New York, and then along the way I met people from Detroit, you know, like uh, Derek May, and I did a party in New York City where we booked, um, you know, Juan Atkins from Detroit. I think as long as you know those cities in America, that's that's what dance music is all about, really. It's where it all comes from. The No Comprendo is just sort of like a name I use for... I, I've been doing some mixes with that name, and then I'm actually working on a solo album right now called Prince Language and the No Comprendo, which is the No Comprendo is just the name for all of the people I do music with. Um, I, I've been lucky to work with a lot of really amazing musicians and producers and, um, and vocalists and uh, just a lot of really amazing people who are going to be on the, the album that I'm doing. And so that's, yeah, that's, that's what the No Comprendo is all about. The No Comprendo is just about like me and my friends making music pretty much. Yeah, I played a couple things um, that actually uh, are going to be released in a few months. I played a, um, I did a remix of LCD Sound System that'll be out in the fall. Also a remix of Lindstrom, of um, Where You Go, I Go Too, that will be out uh, in a few months probably. And a couple different edits I did. And yeah, you know, I, I try to play my own records because I, when I do edits and remixes, I, 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 I try to make them, I try to make things that I would want to play out myself and that people will hopefully enjoy. It seemed like they enjoyed them tonight, so.